Hey Brian, you talked a brief second about the Omos 360 being a triangular pen. Besides the standard round or cigar shape uh, and the Omos, what other shapes are out there? Thanks for the great work. Well, I appreciate the compliments. Um, I grabbed way too many pens to show you here today, so I'm gonna show them all to you because I went ahead and pulled them all out, so uh, here we go. It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I did try to do a little bit of research, like are there commonly known shapes? Like I know cigar shape is one that's kind of commonly used. Other than that, I don't really know, I mean, you'd think I would know just about everything about pens, but I don't really know traditionally what shapes are talked about with most pen people. So there may be some proper terminology out there that I'm just not aware of, and I may be making stuff up here and not making a whole lot of sense to you, but this is the way my brain works and these shapes that I am just making up within the last 24 hours to answer this question. So I've kind of grouped them into different ones. Um, you can check the blog uh, to get more specific details of some of the breakdowns here, but I will at least try to explain to you the logic of my brain and what shapes I'm talking about here. So uh, shall we fall down the rabbit hole of my brain with pen shapes? Yes, let's do it. All right, so the first one is a cigar shape, which is really kind of a traditional shape. Um, you know, uh, you mentioned the cigar as being one that's pretty popular. Um, I think of something like the Omos uh, Ojiva here, or maybe the Aurora 88. Both of these are pens that have been around for a long time. Of course, Omos is now whew, RIP, but this pen was, was around for a long time, and uh, it's just very trying traditional shape, you know, kind of uh, straight down the middle, curved on the ends you know, kind of looks like a cigar, right? Um, that's kind of traditionally what uh, I think is referred to as cigar shaped. So there's that. Um, there's a lot of pens that would kind of fit into that category, but I think generally it's having like both ends kind of rounded is that cigar shape. Uh, next one is one I would call a torpedo shape. And um, there's a couple different pens that would, I would fit into that category. One of them would be the Edison Nouveau Premier, um, very similar to a cigar shape, except very pointy ends. Um, or maybe it could be a little, little more of a general rounded shape like the Lamy 2000. So it's like fatter in the middle and really tapers harder um, than just being rounded on the end like the typical cigar shape. So I think either of those, I would, I would consider them to be a little bit more of a torpedo, maybe. Why not? Real torpedoes, I think, are more rounded on the end, but whatever. I'm just making this up as I go. All right, next one that I have is kind of a flat top or what I consider like maybe a classic style. Um, you know, the Conklin Duragraph or the Nighthawk, maybe something like a Parker Duofold. You know, it's really just the cap is a little bit bigger. The body is a little bit thinner. It's really pretty straight, flat on top. Pretty, pretty generic, uh, not generic, but you know, pretty, um, pretty predictable kind of design there, but just the flat kind of thing happening there um, is what I've got. The next one I have is uh, one that I'm really just completely making up, but I call it the baseball bat. Um, so that is one where you have a really big cap and it kind of tapers down uh, to be much thinner down at the bottom. Um, so this Delta Amalfi would certainly fit into that. Maybe it's because of the wood on the grip of the pen too. I just really associate that with a baseball bat. Um, so that's one. Um, this uh, Stipula Da Vinci as well, really kind of fat on the top, tapers on the bottom. Um, the Schrade Tactical Pen would be another one that kind of tapers. Of course, this is different, like a zombie weapon type thing, but you know, definitely kind of all similar vein there as having that baseball bat general shape. Not a whole ton of other pens that probably fit into that one, but I thought it was interesting and I just wanted to share that. Um, what else have I got here? Let's see here. One that I would call the, the tube shape, <laughs> which is like a Lamy CP1 that really is just like it's like a straw. It's just a straight up tube. You know, it's when it all fits together, the cap is not any bigger than the body. It's just all kind of one shaft that goes down generally pretty flat on the end. It could be kind of rounded too. You know, something like the Kuwaiko Lilliput could probably fit into a tube category. I don't know, these are all very loose fitting categories that I'm making up as I go, as I've said many times. Um, the next one that I have, uh, Lummi Logo would probably fit in that category as well. Next one I have is what I would call a bullet pen. So a very small, you know, maybe rounded on the end, but generally pretty thin and small. I think the Lilliput would fit in there. Maybe the Kuwaiko Sport, Stipula Passaporto, you know, something kind of small, easy to carry around. Eh, maybe even the Pilot E95. S could probably fit into that a little bit, maybe more. Maybe it's a more of a torpedo, torpedo bullet. I don't know. Some of these kind of cross over into different areas, but uh, you know that I would, I would, I call those little bullet pens. You know, they're just little carry around pens, daily carry kind of things. Um, so there's that. What else have I got? Um, triangular pens. 
Why not? Like the Pelican Twist or the Omos 360, which is what prompted this whole question. It's literally a triangle. This one's twisted and all that, but uh, you know, it kind of fits into that. Now I'm getting into pen shapes, like more on the, not so much on the end to end, but around, um, could fit into that. Then you get into what I would call faceted ones. Technically, I guess the triangle ones could be faceted, so maybe they don't need to be their own category. Um, but uh, when you get into faceted pens, you're talking about it's not just round, but it's actually got a cut into it. So a triangle would be three cuts, when you get into a square pen, like this Visconti Wall Street, the original Wall Street, um, as well as the Opera Master, um, technically these are called a squared circle, where it's rounded on the edges, but then square here. I don't know of any pen that's literally a square. Well, I guess there are some that are a square. I think Mon I think is coming out with one called the Cube relatively soon that's literally like square. Uh, but anyway, very heavy kind of a squared design on these ones. Um, then you get into some other ones that are just even different kind of facets, like the um, the Pilot Kakuno is hexagonal. Um, I guess the Koweko Sport could kind of fit into that one as well, um, is octagonal. Um, or octagonal would be, you know, something like the Omas um, Paragon, or there's other, there's other octagonal ones out there as well. And you kind of get into to more facets, more and more facets. I think there's more. No, this one is 12, isn't it? Sorry. Yes. Octagonal. This is the Paragon would be 12, not 8. Anyway. Faceted could be a lot of different things, but um, you know, like Visconti Divina has five, so who knows? There's all kinds of different shapes out there, but that kind of covers most of them. So you got your cigars, torpedoes, flat tops, um, your baseball bats, tubes, bullets, and then your faceted, which you have triangular, square, all that kind of stuff. There's probably more formal, more official names than that, and maybe I'm showing my ignorance in terms of my pen history here as to what it's generally considered, but uh, if you have more pen knowledge than that, Part of what I like about Q&A is you guys leave comments and I get to read them and learn something from you all. So um, that's kind of what I was able to pull out of my own little collection here and show you what I have in terms of pen shapes. But uh, hopefully it'll at least be entertaining for you, if nothing else.